In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Recorder, which is Google Zoom Recorder on your mobile phone. So if you have a Pixel device or someone who can download it from the App Store, here's how you can use the Recorder app. If you're using a Pixel device, this already comes pre-installed. To download from the App Store, simply open the App Store and search for Recorder. Now scroll down and look for Google LCC Recorder. You can go ahead and install it. And once installed, go ahead and open the app. Once opened, it's quite easy to use the recorder app. To start recording, you can tap on the record button and this will start the recording. In the middle here, you see the audio profile which has detected speech. Under this, you'll find audio and transcript. With the audio, you see your audio profile. Why will the transcript when you tap on transcript? It will show you the transcript of what is recording in the background. Now to pause your recording, you can tap on pause. You'll be able to add a title, add keyword, and also add location. To resume, tap on resume. You can delete. And once you're done recording, you can tap on save. And this will save your recording. Any audio recording you've made will be listed in this section. You can open by tapping on any of the audio. And here you'll be able to play and listen to your audio. You have your play and pause function in this section and your speed function in this section. You can tap on the transcript to see the transcript that has been generated. And when you play the audio, it will also play along with the transcript. This is my test record on how to use the voice recorder on Android phone. The audio profile shows you when there is speech in your recording. The top here in the date section, you can tap on this to edit the name. Once you're done, tap on save. And that will be stored as the name of the audio. At the middle top, you will see the favorite button. You can tap on this. And this will add it to your favorite. You can come back, tap on this to remove it from favorite. You can tap on share and you'll be able to share the file or share a link to the audio, which will create a link with recorder.google.com. If you choose to share, you'll be able to choose whether you want to share the audio or the transcript, which you can simply tap on next and this will pull out your contact and other sharing platforms. Now, if you wish to crop or remove certain portion of the audio, you can tap on the scissor icon at the top right corner of your screen and this will take you to editing the audio. Now in this section here, you see your audio profile and start from the beginning and the section you do not want to be included in the audio if you want to crop. You want to drag this to the beginning of that section of the audio and then you want to scroll all the way to the end and then do the same at the end. If you tap on crop, this will crop everything outside those sections. If you wish to undo any changes you've made, you can tap on undo at the top in this section and this will undo any changes. If you want to remove any portion of an audio, you can drag in this section to the beginning of that section of the audio and then scroll the way to the end and drag till you find that section. Once you're done, tap on remove and this will remove just that portion from your audio. You'll also be able to see your transcript. If you're satisfied with your edit, you can tap on save copy and a copy will be saved. With the search function here, You'll be able to search in your transcript. When you search, this will show you what you search for in your transcript. You'll also be able to use it to navigate up and down in your search. At the top right, you see the three dots. When you tap on this, this will allow you to do more, such as create video clip, which when you tap on this, you'll be able to generate a video clip for your recording. Under this, you see content where you see transcript and waveform, or just waveform. Layout where you see square portrait. And landscape you can also change the theme in this section if you want it to be light theme once you're done tap on create and this will generate a video clip you can then save to your device or share you can also copy transcription to google drive which when you tap on this you'll be able to choose your google account and your transcript will be uploaded you can tap on open drive and you see your transcript if the transcription isn't accurate, you can tap on transcribe again and this will help try to correct that. You can increase and reduce the playback speed in this section. You can delete, you can back up if you want to back up the audio. And there's an option where you can give feedback on Google products to help improve the product. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on. So let me know in the description what kind of video you like to see next.